This is a web design tutorial in 30 seconds or so, and it's brought to you by tutvid.com. So you may not know how web hosting works and how your website works when it's interacting with the web. I'm gonna, I've made this simple diagram here to try to explain exactly what's going on. So it begins here with your computer. You've created a website on your computer that you want to bring to the World Wide Web, right? So you've got your local computer, which sometimes is referred to as the local or local machine. Um, and here on the web, you have your URL, your domain name, right? Well, so the first thing that needs to happen, your computer doesn't just throw files right onto the web. You need to take those files from your computer and put them onto a server or hosting. This is sometimes referred to as the remote or remote. That server can upload and download directly from the web. It's connected to the web. Now, of course, this is your domain name that you've bought, so you need to buy a domain name, but you also buy some hosting. So the server is the hosting you buy, the domain name is the uh, domain name that you buy, of course, and the domain name has sort of this secret link that links directly to your server. So those website files that you upload from your computer to your server get displayed when somebody brings up www.tutvid.com or whatever your domain is. So this domain, think of it as the address to the house, but the server is actually the house that contains all the stuff, all the images, all of the code, all of the videos, everything that makes your website go. That is a simple diagram of how hosting works. It begins on your computer, gets uploaded to a server which is connected to the web where it can be displayed for everyone to see when they punch in your domain name, which of course is connected to that server that contains your files from your computer. That's it. Get it? Got it? Good. Nathaniel Dodson, tutvid.com. I'll catch you in the next one.